Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this fault line cake. So once you've got your first layer glued down, just get a bit of the buttercream and just plonk it on top. And we're just going to use the palette knife from before and just spread it evenly across it. So once you're happy with that, we're just going to get the next layer of cake and just add it on top. And we're just going to repeat that step until it stops. So once you've got it all stacked and there's buttercream in between it, I'm just going to put a really thin layer of buttercream around the cake. This is called a crumb coat. It's just so when you're doing your final layer of buttercream, you don't get any crumbs in it, so it just ruins the appearance. So once you've applied an even coating of buttercream around the edges, I'm just going to use this little cake smoother and just go around it, holding it completely vertically just to wipe off the excess buttercream just to get a bit of a neater coat. And then just use a little bowl and just scrape off all of the buttercream that's on it, just because that's got a load of crumbs in it. So once you're happy with the crumb coat on the cake, you need to put it in the fridge for about half an hour or the freezer for about 15 minutes. The reason you've done the crumb coat is so when you do the final coat you don't get any of the crumbs. So don't worry if there's not that much buttercream on it. So my cake's just come out of the freezer, it's really hard around the sides and I'm just going to get some white buttercream and just create a band around the sides just so it's something soft for my sprinkles to stick to. So I'm just going to create the band of buttercream around the sides just with an offset palette knife. Just do it about the middle and just sort of spread it wherever you need to. It doesn't need to be that precise. So I've just smoothed around the band on the cake and I've just put a baking tray underneath it. So when I put the sprinkles on, they just get caught in this because if not, they'll go everywhere. They'll go all over your foot and You'll be finding them in your kitchen for weeks. I'm just going to keep going until I've completely covered the entire band. So I've just had a bit of a tidy up and I've just collected all the leftover sprinkles into this bowl. So now with the cake, I'm just going to go put it in the fridge for about... 45 minutes to an hour or you can just whack it in the freezer for I don't know about 15 to 20 minutes just until the sides are really firm so my cake's out of the freezer now the buttercream's really hard around the edges and the sprinkles are really set into the cake so now I've just took some of my leftover buttercream coloured it like this really pale blue and I'm just going to go around the top and bottom and a bit on the top wish me luck Give some tips on how you're doing it. So I've just cut quite a big hole in the bottom of my piping bag and then I'm just going to go around in a circle just to start off and then I can add more buttercream if I need it if the, um, the gap's too big where the sprinkle is. So I've just done a bit of a, just piped a little bit of buttercream around the sides now so now I'm just going to put a little bit on the top. This won't look very good to start off with, but once you've smoothed it out, it'll, it'll look good. So I've just put a little bit of buttercream on my cake now, and I'm just going to use my offset spatula and just go around it just to smooth it out. I'm going to start off with the top and just pull it round to the edges and just smooth it out. Just so when you do the sides, it just makes it a little bit easier.
just going to keep dragging them in and just wiping the excess off on a paper towel just until I've gone all the way around and I'm happy with my edges. Don't worry too much about how the top looks because we're going to cover that up anyway. So my cake spent about 10 minutes in the freezer and I've just got this metallic gold um, edible paint and I've just got a little fine paintbrush and I'm just going to paint along the ridges of where the fault line goes just so it just um, brings it out a bit more. So because my buttercream's quite firm I've got my paintbrush here with some paint on it and it should do it fairly easily I'm hoping. You don't want to press on too hard, you just want to go along the edges and then, yeah, just dip it in every so often and just get some of the excess off. Just glide it along the line. This is optional, but stuff, it just makes it look a bit more... process this. So as you can see I've fully painted my ridges on the cake and I'm just going to pop it back in the freezer for a bit and then it's the top is nice and firm for when I do my piping blobs. So my cake's out the fridge, I've got my buttercream in a piping bag and it's just a quite dark shade of blue um, compared to this one. And it's just quite a big star nozzle that I've got on this. And I'm just going to pipe blobs around the edge of the thing. So we've got some of the leftover sprinkles here from when we did the fault line and I decided just to use some of them up and just because it would look quite good if we put some in the middle of the cake in between the piping so let's just pour some of them in. I'm just going to use my hands just to spread it out a little bit just to push it right to the edges. can use a palette knife if you want, but probably just easier with your hands. Just going to add a few more sprinkles just to fill in this gap. Sprinkle a few more. Here is my fault line cake. I hope you enjoyed and have a go at home. If you do, tag me on Instagram at baitbyfin.